Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. I still do not understand why Fan decided to take the psychopath and bring her into the house to where you know that Steffi is going to freak out, right? Now, I guess I understood the idea of, hey, listen, I'm going to bring her in. I'm going to sit there and let her know point blank that she is not welcome in this house, okay? No, I, I want no parts of her. I want her to know crystal clear on where I stand. I want to sit there and do this in front of you. See, I understand the, the idea of that, but it, it really doesn't matter, right? Because towards the end, the only thing that, that, that it proved to, in Steffi's eyes was that this woman is never going to leave you alone. And by extension, he's ne she's never going to leave us alone. And so she was just like, you know what? I'm done. I, I just, I can't do this. Your mother's cycle. I can't deal with her. Um, she literally said that she's always going to be a party. She's always want to be a part of your life. And I'm not dealing with that anymore. I'm not dealing with the constant fear and looking on my shoulders and everything like that. I'm just not doing it. So, she, you know, at this point, she's, she's done. Now, part of me is that you're looking at this and I'm like, you know, this isn't the first time that you had your encounter with Sheila, right? You knew exactly who Finn's mother was when you got married to him, right? You knew exactly what you, you knew what you were dealing with, right? So I don't understand. I don't understand why now, now, whoa, I'm a psychopath. I can't sit there and deal with you anymore. I'm out. Now, you've been married to this man how long? You knew that Sheila was his birth mom for how long? Now is the time that you decide you want to tap out? I don't know. I understand that people change, things change, and, you know, you could sit there and try to make something work for a long time and to a point where it's just like, yeah, I just, I, I can't deal with this anymore. And I understand that, I understand that front as well. So you got that going on. You got Ridge and, and, and um, Carter. Second time in the, in the same day, come to his restaurant where he's, while he's working. Hey, where's Sheila at? Where's Sheila at? Where's Sheila going to sit there and strike? Um, are you, are you serious? Um, but he does sit there and try to plead with her father to father. Hey, listen, I want to sit there and protect my daughter. And she and and Dick can stand by by um Sheila like yo listen, I don't know I I can't tell you I don't know where she's at I, I don't talk to her, and he 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 stands by that. So at this point, Rich is like yo listen, something happens, something happens to my family, I'm coming after you. Point blank period. It's a wrap. Yem and Carter wind up, you know, heading on out. You got Liam. Well, why? First of all, he was just blown. He's like, yo, you sent her telling me that she went back to the same house? She went back to Finn to deal with, with Sheila and her mess? Like, are you are you serious? Like, even he's like... And... But he does it, you know, because cause Liam, you know, he's, he's upset about that. And why is like, oh, okay. You sent her telling me that it wasn't more convenient for you when she was actually at Eric's house. You got to come and see her whenever you wanted, but... Now that you know she's moved back with Ben, like you tell me that's that's not the, that's not the reason why that's that's bothering you as well. Basically, we sent there saying is be honest, because he's not sent there saying that he he's not sent there saying that Liam doesn't care, you know, doesn't is not protective of her and isn't caring about her safety with her moving back with Ben. You know, he knows that that's true. Okay, but he's also just like, come on, bro, just just be honest, you know, be honest, be honest with yourself in this situation. Be honest with yourself. Liam gets defensive, but the sad thing is that why it is right, why it is right, and that's the thing. In that scenario, two things can be true. Two things can absolutely be true. He could. He could um, 
want to care for her safety, but at the same time, want to be with her and knowing that her going back to her husband, you know, he's upset about that. I feel like that's about it. I can't really think of anything else that wound up happening. So with that being said, I'm going to go. If I missed anything, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows, YNR, Days, BNB, and of course, GH. With that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.